Hey, what's up? This is Richard from BlenderGrid.com. And in this video, I wanted to bring a little bit of awareness to one of the cycles render settings called square samples. And the reason for this is, I think this setting can cause confusion with some users. If you're very familiar with this setting, this video is not for you. But if you're not 100% sure what this setting is doing exactly, then um, this video is for you because this setting can cause you to waste a lot of render time if you're rendering locally or if you're rendering online on blendergrid.com, for example, it can waste a lot of money. Um, so let's look at this. What is this doing? When we hover over it, it says square sampling values for easier artist control. And that's kind of true. Um, the, the reason they put this in there is, so to speak, easier artist control. But what this is doing when you hit this is it, it's under the advanced tab. So that's actually a good thing. In earlier versions of Blender, it was not under advanced. And a lot of beginner users just checked it and thought, oh, this might be a good thing. But with the uh, default setting of 128 render samples, um, squaring that will literally take this number and square it as a mathematical operation. So instead of 128, it will make it 128 times 128, making it 16,000 samples. And what this does to your render time is it literally makes the sampling time, which is the majority of rendering usually, it makes the sampling time 128 times slower. Or in case of online rendering, it might make your render project 128 times more expensive to render. So that's the danger of this setting. Um, now, why do they call this easier artist control? Well, if you know what the sampling setting is doing, it's basically um, the more samples you use, the slower the render, but the clearer the image will be and the less noise you will have. That's basically uh, the high level function of this thing. Um, but this number, there is some kind of uh, law of diminishing return going on. So let's say you, you move from 16 samples to 32. That has a huge effect on your image quality. However, if you move from 100 to 116, uh, increasing by the same number, then there will be a lot less uh, effect visible in your render. But the amount of render time or sampling time uh, will increase by the same, more or less, the same number of seconds. So there, that that's the the law of the re diminishing return there uh, on your image quality. So in order to kind of um, fix that law of diminishing return, you can square the samples, and then what it does when when say let's say I have ten samples, that when I square that, it will be a hundred. When I now add one, it's it adds like 20 samples. But when we are at 100, this is 10,000 samples. It's a very high number. But if we add one here, now instead of adding 20, it adds 200. So that kind of um, fixes this law of diminishing returns. So that, that's why they call it easier artist control. But... If you are not sure what this does, then this can be dangerous because the default value of 128 samples makes this 16,000 samples. And that's ridiculously high, especially for animations. Sometimes when you're doing still frames and the scene is very complicated, you might need this to get a good image. And it might be worth it because it's just a single image. But if you're doing animation work, and I've had users that use 500 samples, which is normal. Uh, it, it is a, a normal amount for animations. Um, 
But then they turn on square samples and they, they reach out and ask me why is my render uh, price quote so ridiculously expensive. That's because this makes it instead of 500, it makes it 250,000 samples. And that literally makes your render 500 times more expensive. This little checkbox and that's all it does. It doesn't do anything fancy behind the scenes. It all it does, it takes your your render samples amount and makes it 250,000. So in my opinion, this is a little bit of a silly feature that if it was up to me, I would just remove this because if you know what you're doing, then you might start using this. But then if you know what you're doing, you might as well just put in the actual number that you want. Um, if you use square samples and you are at 500, you might as well just type in 250 thousand yourself and this is a ridiculous amount so you will never do this however if you like using this uh, easier artist control then sure use it but and then I would recommend you stick to about four a range of four which is 16 to about maybe 50 which is 2500 and that's already a lot um, for still frames this might be a normal amount for animation this is a lot and so yeah that is what I wanted to share if you were not too familiar with this setting all it does is it just squares your number here so hope you learned something from this if you want me to share um, more of these videos about other render settings that you want to learn about let me know I'm planning to do more of these but if you have a specific setting you want me to talk about um, then I will uh, you know let me know and I will prioritize that and that's it happy blending and I hope to see you in the next one